Welcome to Catnal Truck Driving School's pre-trip training video series. This video is to assist you with preparing and studying for your pre-trip test on your CDL exam for the front of the Class A vehicle, which includes the engine. Grab a pen and paper, let's go. As I approach the front of my vehicle, there are no leaks, puddles on the ground, or dripping fluids on the underside of the engine and transmission. The truck does not lean to one side, which may indicate a suspension or tire problem. Headlights, reflectors, signal lights, and marker lights. The headlights are clear in color, securely mounted, clean and not cracked or broken. Reflectors, signal lights, and marker lights are amber in color, securely mounted, clean and not cracked or broken. All lights are working, including the high beams and four-way flashes. Say to the examiner, I would examine the other side the same as this side. My fender mirrors are securely mounted, no missing hardware, and not cracked, bent, or broken. They are clean and adjusted properly. Say to the examiner now, I would examine the other side the same as this side. Engine bay group. Alternator. My alternator is securely mounted with no missing hardware and is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It is belt driven and operates properly. The belt is not cracked or frayed, and the belt has no more than three quarters of an inch of play at the middle of the belt. The wires are securely mounted. There is no missing hardware, and there are no frayed or bare wires. My water pump, belt driven, operates properly, not cracked, broken, or damaged, securely mounted, no missing hardware, and is not leaking. The belt is not cracked or frayed, and the belt has no more than three quarters of an inch of play at the middle of the belt. My engine oil dipstick is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken, and oil is not leaking. I would check for the oil to be above the refill mark by pulling the dipstick, wiping it off, reinserting it, pulling it back out again, and then checking that the oil is above the refill mark. Air compressor it is gear driven, operates properly, and is not damaged. The air compressor and hoses are securely mounted and not leaking. The hoses have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My engine frame is securely mounted, there are no cracks, unauthorized wells or holes drilled in the flange or frame. Walled reservoir, securely mounted, not cracked, broken or damaged, no missing hardware, no leaks, and is properly filled to the correct level. The cap is present and tight, and it has a good seal and is not leaking. General engine overview, all hoses are securely mounted and not leaking, they are not cracked or worn and have no missing hardware, all wires are securely mounted with no missing hardware, and there are no frayed or bare wires. Power steering group. Power steering reservoir, securely mounted, not cracked, broken or damaged, no missing hardware, not leaking and is filled to the proper level. Cap is present and tight, but it has a good seal and is not leaking. Power steering pump. Gear driven, breathes properly, not cracked, broken or damaged, no missing hardware, securely mounted and is not leaking. Steering wheel shaft, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and has no missing hardware. U-joints. Both my U-joints are securely mounted, well lubricated, and there's no foreign objects lodged in them. It is not cracked, bent, broken, has no missing hardware. Power steering gearbox and power steering hoses. They're securely mounted, no missing hardware, not damaged and not leaking. All the power steering hoses are securely mounted, not cracked or worn, and are not leaking. The hoses have no abrasions, bulges or cuts, and there is no missing hardware. My pitman arm, drag link, steering knuckle, and tie rod. They're securely mounted, not worn, loose or cracked. All castle nuts and cotter pins are in place and secure with no missing parts. They are not cracked, broken or damaged. Suspension group. Spring hangers are securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken. There's no missing hardware. They're not damaged and they have no missing bushings. The rear shackle is in place with the bushing in place as well. Next, leaf springs. Securely mounted and there are no leaves missing. They are not shifted, scissored, cracked or broken. U-bolts. All U-bolts are securely mounted with no missing hardware. They're not cracked, broken or loose. There are four nuts, four washers and four bolts. There are no shiny threads that would indicate looseness or cross-threading. Shock absorbers. My shock absorbers are securely mounted, not missing any hardware, not bent, cracked or damaged and are not leaking. Brake group. Brake hoses securely mounted, not cracked or worn and have no missing hardware. No abrasions, bulges or cuts, not leaking on the lines or couplings. Brake chambers securely mounted, not cracked or dented and not leaking. The clamps and hardware are in place with no missing hardware. Slack adjusters and push rod. Say, I would chop my wheels, release my brakes, and pull on the push rod. It should not move more than one inch. Slack adjuster and push rod should be securely mounted with no loose, broken, or missing parts. Just touch and say, you do not have to demonstrate this. Brake drum, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, and there's no holes, and there's no debris, oil, or grease inside the drum. 
Brake shoes, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, must not be worn dangerously thin and they are in proper placement within the drum. There is no debris, oil or grease inside the shoe. Steer wheel group. Front tire. The tire tread must have 4 30 seconds of an inch or more of tread depth in all grooves. The tread is evenly worn, so no abrasions, bulges or cuts, or other damage to the tread or sidewalls. The tire must be beaded properly to the rim with no leaks around the rim and say, I would check the tire pressure with a tire pressure gauge at the valve stem. The valve stem and valve cap are not missing, broken, or damaged, and are not leaking. Rims. The rims are not damaged, not cracked, bent, or broken, and have no unauthorized welds, and they are securely mounted. Lug nuts. Securely mounted, not cracked, and none missing. There are no rust trails or shiny threads that would indicate looseness or cross-threading. The bolt holes are not cracked or distorted. Hub oil seal. Securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, or damaged, and they're not missing any hardware, not leaking, and the oil level is correct. I would check this visually with the sight glass or remove the plug and check with my finger. This video is for training students in Georgia in the United States to assist them to pass their CDL driving test. It may be beneficial for other students looking to learn to drive a truck in other states in the US and even around the world, but please know that the testing requirements will differ from state to state. This information is correct in 2023 at the time of publication, but testing requirements may very well change in the coming years ahead. On your test day, if you aren't driving equipment identical to what is shown in these videos, please consider what differences your test equipment has and ensure that you say what is shown here, applying it to the vehicles that you'll use.